Okay, so welcome to Expeditions Realm. It's a game that came out last year, I believe. 2021? 2022? I don't know. Uh, for some reason, though, I can't get this damn game to play in 4K. I don't know. It seems. You know what? Maybe. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that should fix it. Uh, I gotta set it myself. Dude, what the hell is 4K? Is it looks like. Uh, I don't. I don't know, man. <laughs> the, it's one of these. 1600. It's the last one, isn't it? It's 30, 38, 38, 40 to 21, 60. Yes, save. Oh, oh my, oh my, oh, the, there's the quality I've been wanting. Okay, I see. Oh, look at that, dude. There's so much difference between 1443 and 4K, bro. Never realized. So many more pixels. You probably can't even tell the difference, but I can. Alright, much sharper, much better looking. Alright, anyway, we'll start a new game. I think it's like a turn-based strategy game where you where you go roam, need a refresher, check out the codex in the main menu to read it to Yeah, okay. I'll, in I'll the year that. of Lucius Licinius Lucullus, Rome was prosecuting several wars of self-defense, self most notably in Greece, where Lucullus himself was commanding the legions. Right. With everyone's gaze directed at the provinces, few could have known that a seemingly inauspicious event in Rome would become the central fulcrum around which the fate of the Republic would turn. The paterfamilias of a venerable patrician house had passed away unexpectedly, Strong and a senator by the name of Vitellius Scaevola had made a bid for the hand of his eldest child. Daughter. His widow alone believed that Skyewala had poisoned her husband and now strove to take his place and claim his property through marriage. Acting in secret, the widow arranged for her youngest child to be taken out of their villa in the dead of night and smuggled out of Rome. Right, because he'll probably kill the children, I'm guessing. And the youngest child is me, Publius Romulus L Lentulus. I can, be, I can also be female. Why I can be male? Well, I am male. Wait, what? Why does females in Roman society women are not given first names? What? Real? I, I get a nickname. Like if you all get nicknames, women just don't have names. Bruh. <laughs> all right. Well, I mean I'm male, so I'm I'm gonna get a first name. Can I choose a first? I can. Uh, I am emulsifier. Emulsifier, uh, my family name is uh, a Sulpicius. <laughs> what else is there? Emilus, Aquilius, Attilius, Claudius, Fab, Fab, Furious, Giganius, I mean, I like Furious, Numicus, Fo Posthumus, <laughs> okay, well. You know what? I'm, I'm, I'm Furious, and my nickname. I don't know, man. My, my nickname uh, Pronto, Nasia, Coolio, Okela, Palace, Coolio. I don't know, man. Just call me Flippin. Just call me Coolio. I, I'm Coolio. I'm Emulsifier Furious, also known as Coolio. <laughs> and my portrait Sneaky Man, Big Rogue. You know what, sure, this guy looks kinda cool, he's got a weird haircut, but sure. My face. Okay, we'll, we'll keep this face, and I mean, I'm not that dark skin. Tan, dark, I mean, I'm not that tan. We'll just go normal, normal tan. Hair style, medium. I mean, the portrait shows us with like, extremely short hair. It can be bald, although again, not too bald, but whatever. Curly, that just looks horrible. We'll just we'll, we'll keep it medium. Medium looks kinda nice. Hair color black. Makes sense. Body height. I can be very short. I can be short. I can be average. I can be tall. I can be a freaking giant. Nah man, I'll just be average. Yeah, sure. There you go. Very basic settings except <laughs> the color and stuff. I'm emulsifier furious coolio with this cool looking thing. Oh my. Okay, that was loud. <laughs> that was uh, quite loud. Each of these 
the character creation rhetorical style rhetorical each of these three perks unlocks unique dialogue options to persuade other people in different situations think about what kind of character you want to role play and choose your rhetorical style accordingly during the story you may get a chance to master a second technique ethos the art of using power of your authority or your abilities to get your way logos the art of convincing someone with sound logical arguments and reasoning or pathos that of winning people over using stirring rhetoric or emotional manipulation i'm i'm a logos i'm a logos man myself I like convincing someone with sound logical arguments. Oh my, that is loud. How will history remember you as Augustus? Was Augustus he had a, he had an easy life, I guess. He was an easy dude. The heir of Caesar became the first emperor of Rome. Okay, first dude. Augustus started his career with an enormous fortune and many allies. On this setting you will have what you need to succeed and your mistakes will not be punished harshly. Or I could be Caesar. Honestly, Caesar is like the most well remembered one. A legendary general and politician, Caesar conquered Gaul and nearly became emperor of Rome before his political opponents assassinated him. Yeah, he did die. If you choose this setting, you will be challenged, but you are likely to rise to greatness. Or you could be Pompeius. Never heard of him. Considered one of the greatest commanders of his time, Pompeius was a friend of Caesar's who opposed him in a bloody civil war. Caesar defeated him and he fled to Egypt, where he was killed. On this setting, your difficulties will be great, but your victory is all the sweeter. My God! I, why are they so loud? Holy shit! It's like a, I like the banner too, man. The banner is cool, and here there's a guy helping you. Caesar, you like in in battle, normal. Banner is a little torn. This banner is extremely torn, uh, quite torn. And like some dudes, you're you're like you're falling. Your people are running away. Cassius, you're just everyone's just dead and on fire. <laughs> it's just it's it's over already. But Cassius, though he was the wealthiest man in Rome. Crassus was always jealous of the military success of his peers. This drove him to lead an invasion of Parthia, where he was soundly defeated and executed. If you choose this setting, you will be shown no mercy, and you may not prevail. Iron Man restricts you a single save sort that will be regularly overwritten by auto saves. Your save is not deleted upon death, but you must live with your mistakes. No, that's fine. Combat death enables permanent death of party members if they bleed out during combat. Be warned: if a story companion or your own character dies, it's game over. If this is disabled, non-party uh, Praetans can still die from untreated injuries. How this play on Pompeius? Difficulty? One of the greatest commanders of his time, but not Caesar. But apparently Caesar kicked my ass. That's fine. That's completely fine. No problem. Expeditions Rome. That's a lady. Disabling shields. Okay. Did you hear me, Domine? Your body is surely present, but your mind seems somewhere else. I am not Domine. I'm sorry, old friends. Guess I'm still thinking about what happened. I'm just stunned by the beauty of the sea. Look at how blue it is. I feel like I'm out of my depth. What will I do here? Who the hell is Domine? Dude, I'm not Domine. One second. Can I turn down audio, please? Master volume. Turn that down to like 60%. Yeah. I guess I'm still thinking about what happened because I have no idea what happened. Also, I'm old. Am I the youngest child is this age or is this like years later? Our departure was very sudden, I know. But do not dwell on the past. Better to focus on what's coming at you. I asked the Triarchus how close we are to Lesbos, but uh, he would not give me a straight answer. The Triarchus is the, the captain. It's still too loud. It's not save. The hell? 60 me. Excuse me, 60. Save. He still he still just claims we are close to destination. I wish we never had to leave Rome. The sooner I can bet my blade, I'll feel better. I'm, I can just be like a badass dude. But no, you know what? We can raise the volume a little bit. Honestly, like I'll, I'll give me give me a cool seventy. Give me give me a cool seventy-five. Sure. He j still just claims we are close to our destination. Indeed. Hmm. In his defense, there are many islands on this sea. And they mostly look the same. I hope he knows where he's will going. Will you check with the Triarchus? Hopefully he will give you a clearer answer. He told me his name is Geminus. Geminus. Okay, so this is the authority one. No, this is the authority one. The art of using power of authority. This is pathos. Meaning people over by stirring rhetoric or emotional manipulation. You just need to use a little more charm. Make him like you. I'll see if I can tease some information out of him. Maybe he will respond better to someone with real authority. My family is paying for this trip after all. The man may genuinely not know our position. I will see if I can help him work it out. Yes, the art of convincing with sound and logical 
arguments and reasons. If nothing else, you do have a way of making unreasonable people see reason. That's my job. You should also go and thank Quintus Aquilinus. I do believe he saved our lives with his timely appearance at the villa. So I did just leave the villa, okay. So he's my youngest, the youngest son is this big? How, how, how is our, how is this, how is our like oldest sister? How old is she? Didn't women like get married at like 19 or some shit in Rome? I don't know, I, don't know. I, have, I have no idea. I mean, are we like 12 or something? We look extremely old. Okay, so someone saved us, we are on a boat. All right, well, there are so few passages on this galley. Your mother paid Geminus handsomely to set off in great haste under cover of night. Two others did board with us, also bound for Lesbos. Two other Young Gaius has been pacing impatiently over there, wearing grooves into the deck. There was a gladiator too, but I don't know where he went. There was a gladiator and Gaius. Okay. And Geminus is the, the dude, okay. We left so quickly, my mother and sister. Do not worry. The Witellius brothers have no reason to do them any harm. Besides, you cannot save them by worrying. Focus on the task ahead. And who who are you, anyway? I don't know. Thank you for coming with me, Serenos. Thank you for bringing me along. Mm -hmm. It will be wonderful to see my homeland again. So that's okay. So wherever we are going, this guy is from there. Where are we going again? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Les Lesbos. We're going to Lesbos. Let's see if Geminus knows where we are. Goals. The quest marker points you towards a mandatory objective, an optional objective. Quest markers are only displayed for the currently tracked quest. Okay. Uh, when you have more than one quest, you can change which one you're tracking from the quest menu. Press J to open. Camera control. You can use Vasta to pan the camera. You can also rotate the camera with middle mouse button. Press F to make the camera follow your character again. I can't do anything with the middle mouse button, but sure. This is our, our guy. We can make him walk. We can double tap him getting to run. Nope, okay, we can just walk. And we have quests. Pirates on the Mediterranean. Narrowly escaping the scheming of Vitalius, your father's murderer, you have fled Rome to join your family friend, Council Lush uh, LLL, in his campaign on Lesbos. Optional, thank someone for getting me out of Rome and asked Triacus Geminus how close you are to Lesbos. Alright, alright. We can also see the Codex. Which, oh my lord, okay, that is a lot. <laughs> that is Asia Minor Province of Roman Republic encompassing roughly the western half of modern day Turkey. Status effect exploration, oh my lord. Yeah, I hope they'll just teach me all of that. Yeah, this is like a, it's not a very big ship. But it's, it's good, I guess. Okay, we can't use q &E. I'm guessing there are slaves under there. Romance slaves, right? You found your sea legs quickly, Domine. You just random sailor. I can also walk inside of you. Okay, that's, that's kind of weird. What about you? This is the old man that we were talking to. He has a big old stick. Who are you, lady? Okay, we don't know and apparently we just do not care. Okay, we have Cassio Quinticulus Aquilinius. The guy who got yeah, the sea better than most. Hmm. I'm glad. Oh, he's like me. Look at him. Centurio, I want to thank you for your timely arrival at my villa. We will now formally introduce Centurio. I'm a Mulsifier Curious Studio. Let's just thank him. First. The timing was fortunate, but there is no need to thank me. The consul sent me to get you. Oh. Please, call me Kaiser, if it's not too familiar. Not Aquilinus. My subordinates call me Kenturio. My superiors call me Aquilinus. Hmm. My friends call me Kaiser. You have three names, huh? And you can call me Coolio. With all due respect, I'd better not. <laughs> He's not. Can we go over the plan? Our departure was far too hasty for us to discuss our course of action. Ah, she did not keep you apprised. Hmm. Your mother has secretly been making arrangements with the consul. You, you are to join me. his command staff as Tribunus. The council is like the main man, right? The president. Uh, what are the duties of Tribunus? You'll have very little responsibility. Oh. The Tribunus of Allegio assists the Legatus while they learn how to command a military organization. Okay, so it's an You'll not see combat, hmm. nor will you make any important decisions. You'll be safe, as your mother wanted. 
this will be an excellent stepping stone to becoming a senator. If I'm going to follow the legion around, I might as well make myself useful. I'm not here to be kept safe. I'm here to build my reputation and make powerful friends so I may return home and to reclaim my family. Yeah, I can do that anyway. Might as well make myself useful. Yeah. I'm sure the console will find use for you. You seem to have a good head on your shoulders. You'll get the hang of things quickly. Yeah, yeah. One word of advice. I know Lucullus is a friend of your family, but remember, he is the consul, elected by the people to rule all of Rome. Yeah, so he is like the it's prime best if you president. don't act too familiar with him in front of his men. And what is your relationship with the council? For many years, I was the primus pellis of Legio Prima Italica, so which nothing. he commands. He needed someone he could trust to get you out of Rome and keep you safe. So I am like a very close friend to the damn council, okay. And will you be returning to your position when reach Lesbos? That position has already been filled by one of my Centurionis. A good man, easily up to the task. Mm. My job now is to watch your back and help you settle into your new life. I haven't asked for a nursemaid. I'm honored to have you with me. I'm sorry you had to abandon your post position for this. Don't be. I served the consul, and he has well earned my loyalty. So he's just doing what the consul said. Okay. Have you talked to any of the other passengers? I had a brief talk with that gladiator who boarded before us, yeah. just to make sure he won't give us any trouble. He seems to have vanished, though. This is the guy the young man over there, yeah. Gaius. He's apparently the nephew of the other consul, Marcus Aurelius Cotta. Hmm. He's here to become a tribunus as well. No. Oh. You should talk to him if you haven't already. I'm sure you'll have much in common. All right, so he's just a soldier. I should talk to the Triathus. Okay. So he, he, uh, this dude was straight up sent by the damn consul to get me. Oh, one of the two consuls. There are two, right? Hello, Gauss. Um, Gauss, excuse me. Uh, Gauss. The hell, man? I heard he's running from a senator who wants him dead. Shh, keep your voice down. He Salve. He wants me dead. Salve. I don't believe we've been properly introduced. My name is Emulsifier Furious Julio. I have, haven't seen you boarding the ship. I'm Emulsifier Furious Carlo. Are you one of the Quesos, man? No, I've not been introduced. It's my name. It is a pleasure. I am Gaius Julius Caesar. Caesar. Okay, so he's also going to be like a military assistant, basically. Well met. That's all quite. This is all quite new to me. Mind if I ask a few questions? Not at all. But keep in mind, I'm not the most experienced soldier either. Well, where are you from? I was born in Rome, but they say my family is from Alba Longa. Alba Longa. Why did you join the Legion? That's a long story, my friend. Suffice to say, the powers that be are not fond of me. Hmm. I have decided that staying in Rome could be, shall we say, hazardous to my health. So he got into some trouble. Okay. And how many wars did you fight in? To be honest, this will be my first proper battle. Yeah. I did study a lot, though, and therefore I am well versed in matters of strategy and tactics. Okay, so he's, he's book smart. This is my first military assignment. Do you have any advice? <clears throat> if you don't play an important part, you will be torn apart. <laughs> my father used to say. I guess that was his way of telling me to be brave and hopefully not stupid. Mm, yeah, that's, that's good. You should play important parts. Valet, Cassius. We shall talk later. Gauss, Cassius, whatever his name is. What's up, sailors? You got some problems with me? Think I'm running from a dude who wants me dead? Whatever. So these are, I guess, just all sailors. What is he looking for? He's been like this all morning. Oh, the, 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 the ship captain? Yeah, I don't like it when my ship's captain is... Uh, doesn't know what he's doing, it sounds like. Is there even anything down here? No, we just got some stores. We got like food and stuff. Very little food. We got shields over here. I don't exactly know why they're there. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Salve, Gamente, wasn't it? What? Yes, Geminus. Geminus. Salve. So, uh, I'm a little preoccupied. It's a very fine galley you have here. I will almost be sad to step off it when we reach Lesbos. Do we have our destination inside? Okay. I will remind you that until we reach our destination, you work for me. You have been paid to take me and my contingent to Lesbos within a certain time. When will we arrive? The wind has been rather still today, hasn't it? I've noticed the oars have been out since early in the morning. Is that what is that what's causing our delay? That sounds smart. <sighs> You're right. Hey. The rowers are getting tired. We should let them rest soon. But that will cause even more delay. Wait. Mm, do you finally see Lesbos on the horizon? Probably not. The men are running. What is oh, it? Shit. They're heading straight towards us. They're gonna ram. 
Well, that's not Get good. your father's weapons. Let's see if you can actually fight. I don't know. Probably not. <laughs> what the hell? Blue spark buttons? They're, they're gonna ram us. Bro, they're breaking all the oars, man. Gaius, are you alright? I'm fine, Kenturio. Form up! Let's get these pirates off our ship! So they're not pirates, they're pirates. Preparation phase. Before the combat begins, you will often have time to organize your Praetorians into a formation within an area highlighted in blue, so the deployment area. Simply click on one of your Praetorians, click where you want to place them. It is generally a good idea to put your heavy infantry in front and your archers and support behind them. That guy is an archer. This guy looks like a stupid in basic infantry. This guy's got a big shield, so... And I am. I also have a shield, okay. Heavy infantry in front, archer support behind them. When you are ready, click the end turn button or press end turn to begin. So what are you? You are you are heavy. So you have 4 movement, 40 morale. You do 3 to 5 main hand base damage, 2 to 5 off hand base damage. 8% bludgeoning resistance, 8% piercing, 8% slash, 20% fire. And you have no resistance to poisoning. Okay, so you can be like in the front, okay. Oh my god, they just freaking murdered them. Who the hell are you? Hastichius Militia. Bro, yes. You do 4 to 5 damage though, bro. How come he does more damage than my freaking heavy infantry dude? He's like a straight up commander of a legion or something? This guy does 3 to 5, does 3 to 5? I don't know, man. Cyranos. This guy is the, my instructor or whatever. He's support. He's an old man. 4 to 7 damage? Bro, everyone does more damage than the actual soldier? Okay. 50 morale, he's got more morale, he's got 8 movement. Okay, I mean you just stay at the back then. And you're just a straight up archer. Movement 7, 4 to 7 damage. Now you go all the way back. You come here, I'm a patrician. I am Emulsifier Furious Coolio. Coolio. I am immune to morale because I am me. 8 movement, I do 2 to 5 damage. Okay, okay, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm a dude. And then we have Geminus, who is also heavy. He's the captain, but I can't do anything to him right now. You know, I'll stay, I'll, I'll stay in the front. Bro, there is no front, by the way. Why don't you stay here? You'll probably attack me. He'll probably attack me. Okay. Fend off the pirate boarding party. Okay, we'll, we'll start it. Attacking. To attack an enemy first, select which skill to use. Each skill cannot be used more than once per turn. Okay. Many skills require your action point to use and some have limited charges per encounter. Okay, okay, I see. So we have... I'm... So I'm me, first of all. I have a born Gladius and I have a Fist. 2 to 3 damage, 2 to 5 damage. Critical damage 1, critical damage 3. I can see skills. 2 to 5 slashing damage also hits an enemy on the target's left for half damage, affects multiple. So I can use a slash or I can do a 2 to 3 bludgeoning damage. Use cost is 1. Oh, so that's, this is like my weapon and this is the actual skill that I can use with it. Okay. Okay, so we can, we can go places that have got 8 HP, 8 HP, 8 HP. They all have 8 HP. Okay. How much HP do I have? Okay, this guy's got 2 shields, 16 HP, 12 HP, 13, 12, 15. Okay. Mm, let's say we... Let's say we attack you first. I shall use my slash. Swang. We're beating them! I mean, I just did a one attack. Okay, and then... Character is missing action point. Character is on cooldown. I don't know, man. Just do nothing. You have unspent action point. What are you talking about? I have five. What are these? Movement? Uh, That's a movement point. Okay. I can, like, run away if I want to. No, it's fine. Friendly turn. Oh, my. Okay. What happened to the gladiator, by the way? Enemy turn. No, my friend. It's, it's a glancing hit. Oh, this guy is just dead. 
Yo, my friendly dude is also going to die. Oh, that's that's me. I took fire damage. That's not good. Dude, my the the captain is going to die. I am going to die. Okay, I didn't know I was gonna get my ass kicked like this. I should have just run away. Oh well, this guy is just completely dead. Where is that gladiator who boarded with us? Up there. Dead? Oh no, right, right there. Never underestimate the value of an impressive entrance. Really? My turn. How, how where do I see the turn orders, bro? Oh, move a range character a few axes. Oh shit. Okay, you're also going to swap between characters during your turn. But that would have been useful to me before. For example, one character can move, another character can move and attack, and then the first character can attack as well. You can even move or attack with the character while another character is still moving. Try it out. Bro, load, load me. Load me back. I didn't I, I just did one turn. Apparently I could have used all my characters there. Gaius, are you alright? I'm fine, Kenturio. Form up! Let's get these pirates off our ship! We, we reset, we start combat, and we can control anyone. Okay, so that's that makes a lot more uh, sense. That's why it was telling me I have unspent action points. Two to five damage, two to three damage. We'll try for two to five. We did full five damage. Then we take this dude. We send him out front. He's got three to five, two to five shield punch. Also, it's enemy is on left. Requires minimum one shield strength. Push target one hex away if there is free space. Nah, man, just murder this guy. Action restored. Untrained enemies. Whenever you kill or incapacitate an untrained character, such as civilians or militia, in this case, a Geminite, the character who dealt the final blow will regain their attack point. Remember that any given skill can only be used once per action, per turn, and the action points cannot be saved for the next turn. Try to finish off any untrained enemies with the character who will still have a strike left to use that same turn. Jim Natus. Is he not just dead? What is this? Brace. Regain two stacks of strong. Applies deflecting to self. The character will deflect next attack. Apply strong to self. For each stack, 25% of character's shield strength maximum is restored at the beginning of their turn. One stack is lost. Every time shield takes a hit. Nagar must be standing. So true. Why is this? Why is this yellow? This takes an action point, I'm guessing, to do. But this does not. Okay, before I do that, my man, main man archer. Can you just shoot? Interrupt. Active skill. 6 to 11 piercing damage. Knock an arrow and wait for an enemy to move within a 180 degree cone in front of you. Then shoot that enemy. Range of 12 hexes deflected by shields. Applies interrupting to self. Oh, that's insane. 4 to 7 damage. Ten, minus 10 to all resistances. Or oh, crippling shot. 4 to 7. Applies cripple to enemies. 3 to 5. 100% chance of success. Cannot see as I am blocking him. 100% chance of success. Okay, what can you do? Logistics. 3 hex radius, applies coordinated plus 2 movement maximum or he can, just, he can just mash people I guess honestly let's start with that, why don't you run over here and freaking just like you're deadly with that thing I've lived other lives before this one if you move out of a hex that is adjacent to an enemy wielding a, a melee weapon, they will get an attack opportunity. Watch for red arrow along your path to see if you get attacked. Each of, atta a character can make one attack of opportunity per turn. Oh. Well, if I knew that, I wouldn't have done it. <laughs> okay, but you live and you learn. Start by murdering this guy. Boom. He's, he's super dead. Then we move up a little. And we hit this guy with a... Now what we do this. And 
and we watch for we watch for incoming attack and then you have a skill point still you can do to five bludgeoning damage to this dude or you can brace any status effect applied to the character will show up in the tooltip. The number indicates the remaining duration in the combat rounds, while the bars indicate how severe the effect is. Status effects can be positive, negative, or neutral. To get more information about a status effect, press E to open a list of status effects currently affecting a character. Okay, and then turn around, face these guys. Thank you. Uh, you can just run away. Do that. And then, why don't you, you can just like behind this guy but like look here you, you also look this way please that seems good enough now we end see no as remaining action points this guy does good bit of damage you walk up you have no targets aha deflected get shit on you like almost murder this guy and then you do get murdered you take what three damage the hell this guy comes over, I have a... Okay, no, he is he's my friend for one glancing. Two glancing. Not that bad. Ah! Attack of opportunity. Where is that Two gladiator damage. who boarded with us? Oh, here Up comes the, the gladiator. Dramatic entrance. Never underestimate if someone was the standing value there, of bro. an impressive entrance. That would have been cool. He's got a knife and a spear. He gets his shield back. Oh, it's because I braced. Maybe, I don't know how that works exactly. Uh, right, these are all untrained, but we have to kill this guy first if we want to do something. Okay. okay so I don't... Hmm. So if you move here... You will be hitting your friend. We don't want to do that though. Instead, we can just punch him. I don't like that. Can I undo? I doubt it. I, guess. I, I can't undo. Why don't you strike him? Bang! And then you just just give him a like a freaking punch. Take okay, care, bro. And then you. Are you freaking cut him up? And then Archer, bro. Kill him. No, what the hell? Oh, you are my you are my dude now. Bestie at the bar. Six movement, 25 morale. Okay, okay, what do you have? A, a pierce stab, 35 piercing damage, gets one focus, cannot be blocked or resisted, cannot defeat critical hit. 3 to 6 piercing damage, ge generates 2 focus, makes 2 attacks at half normal damage, and a shift. 1 to 2, one to 3 piercing damage, makes a quick offhand attack at half damage point, which will not attack, which will not cost any action points. No, that's, cool. that's cool. We got 4 HP. Double stabs on your ass. Yep, and then that just restores my action point. Why don't you come over and stab this guy also? Action restored, one focus. Then you can use a shift. Now we cannot stand here, unfortunately. Could shift this guy? Probably shouldn't. You know what? Shift this guy. Good stuff here. This kills him, but I do hit my friend with this. Yeah, I don't like that. Can do I not? Can I not just do something else? All right, unfortunate. Oh, I did not hit my friend. Okay, that's good. Ah, so I should keep him for last because obviously he can brace. Like this is a bad guy. Should I not just murder him? Yeah, I don't know. We have an archer up ahead. Now archer shots are deflected by. Uh, how far can you move? Can I? Can I see? No, probably not. Uh, 
Uh, right, so you have skill point, you have skill point, you can't do anything with it. Fine. Why don't you lead the charge? Please stay behind. I don't know what this is. I think you also have shield. So our squad moves. Yeah, if they want to get to this guy, they gotta walk through here, which I mean, that's just a horrible idea. We have skill points here and here, but we can't do anything with it. Friendly turn. Oh, he's just, he's just going for murdering. What the? F oh, they can attack anyone. That's a bow. Giminitus is no longer incapacitated. Yeah, because he's freaking dead. Get blocked. Oh, and I only get one shield back instead of two, but that was not bracing. Now, my dude is like... He's hurt. Hurt, man. Three damage, bro. Rippling shot. Four to seven health damage. This will also do four to seven. I mean, that's easy enough. Boom. Dead as hell. Then we can. This guy, this guy has a lot of HP. This guy has a good amount of HP. There's no one else. And we gotta grab you next. 15 damage needs to be done. I think we start off with, with you crippling him. You cannot see target, but you can see him. You've done enough. Six damage and a cripple. That's the end of your turn. I want to use you last if possible. Yeah, what can you do, old man? Almost murder him and run away. That seems like a good idea. Five damage and then just flip it. Run your ass away. You're almost dead. Then you move forward and slash. What the? F He's not dead. That's fine. Uh, do a precise stab. Only one remains. This was easy. He's dead. What do you mean? Now we just start going crazy on this guy. You have skill points, uh, movement points left still? Yeah, 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 freaking surround his ass. Friendly turn, he can't do anything. Oh, he'll just keep. You're all idiots, we're going to die! What the hell is that for? Will he hurt my friend? No, it will not. Okay. What the heck, bro? Oh, so he doesn't have a melee weapon, though, does he? Uh, for you. Boom. There you go. Old man got pretty hurt. Hey, but no one's injured. Look at that. Okay. Back to Neptune's asshole, barbarians. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> The Triarchus run us straight into the pirate ambush spree, man. Mm. Allow me to execute him right here and right now. This traitor must be working with them. I don't know, man. He did have fight. We are sailing to join a war against pirates. It's not so surprising that we should be attacking pirates on our way. Yeah. Don't be naive. This was no random attack. They were out for blood. It is quite unusual for pirates to attack any ship. Let alone a heavily armed Roman galley. They prefer to attack lightly defended coastal towns instead. It's less risky and more profitable. Hmm. Well, let's go talk to the man. Question the Triacus. Can I loot? How the hell did he get all the way over there? Not only escaping the scheming of Vitalis, it just, it's probably just Vitalis paying them. I don't know. 
There's my like full freaking party. Isn't he part of my damn party? What the hell if I can't be bored there shit? And where the hell are all the rowers? Did they kill all the the sailors? Geminus. You steered us into a all trap. Praetorians are in Titanic. What do you have to say for yourself? I had nothing to do with it, I promise. They came out of nowhere. Silence! You utter nonsense! By Mars, it is the sea! How can anyone come from Mori? We cannot execute a man based on no evidence. Besides, we need our Triarchus to make it safely ashore. Yeah, no one else knows how to... What do you say, kid? What do you think we should do? Okay. Why are you asking me? You are the Primus. This kind of this kind of decision is your responsibility. I'm just a humble Canturio. Albeit a particularly well dressed one. Lucullus has greater plans for you. Hmm. Your father's dead. The time to rely on others to make difficult decisions for you is gone. It's time to make my own decision. Why do you want him very glad to get it? We are close to our destination. Hmm. And we can reach it without him. Really? If there is a possibility. That he is working with the enemy, we cannot risk to let him live. Mercy, doubt, hesitation. These are all openings that the enemy can exploit to kill you. This man's value to us is far less than the threat he may pose. Mm, I don't know, man. It just seems like pirates attacking people. They say pirates don't attack. Heavily armed, but we were not very heavily armed. I don't know, man. He need fought with us. And even he was stabbing and murdering them. Guys, if pirates don't attack ships, as you say, why would these ones make an exception? We are, many of us, important people. On our way to join the action against Lesbos. Is it not conceivable that the rebels heard of us? The Kingdom of Pontus is known to sponsor pirates, hmm. to harass and weaken Rome. I do not believe we have any reason to suspect our Triarchus of colluding with them. Yeah, I don't think so. What's done is done. There is nothing to gain from executing the Triarchus now. Yeah. Very well. We shall spare his life. But remember, mercy is a luxury you will not always be able to afford. I disagree. The cost of mercy is a price I will always be able to pay. Perhaps, but in this case, we certainly can't afford to lose our Triarchus. We still have to reach Lesbos. Yeah. Maybe. A wise choice, my friend. Killing the Triarchus Don't of our ship captain. in the middle of the sea would have been inconvenient, indeed. Yeah, who's gonna Thank sail? You. If you ever again need the help of a skilled Lord navigator, I am at your service. Generous predictions approved. Up the tempo! And keep your eyes open. Conciliary predictions. We have succeeded. Pirates on the Mediterranean. The, the freaking gladiator doesn't like it, but, you know, whatever. Shield sent will not regenerate while a character is turned or knocked down. Good to know. What the hell? Sagittarius. Well, that's not what I am. The ability to strike at a distance makes archers very flexible, hampered only by shields which deflect their arrows. Subclass, marksmen are defensive archers that deny areas to the enemy. To the enemy. Hunters are close range multi-target shooters. Snipers are preferred to pick off single targets at great distance. Choose a starting skill, marksman. Six to 11 piercing damage. Knock an arrow and wait for enemy to move within a 120 degree radius uh, cone in front of you. They shoot the enemy. Applies interrupting. We saw that. Quick shot. Four to seven piercing damage. Shoot two individual arrows. Two shoot to individually selected targets with minus 30% accuracy and a 30% chance to miss. Defected by shields affects multiple targets or a ranging shot. Applies spotted. That's sniper spot. Okay. Applies spotted to enemies in the selected area for the next two turns. Reveals traps and camouflaged characters. Range 14 hexes. Effect 2 hex radius. Affects multiple targets. Applies spotted. Range attacks against this tar target deal full damage regardless of distance. So that's if I want to be a freaking archer. Then we can be like a freaking sword. We can, what does archer get? Best armor type is light. Class weapon is bow. Range is determined by accuracy. We have light Locoria Hamatua 1, 0 armor, minus 1 movement, 3 resistances, 3 health. We get an Aculus 1 worn bow, base damage 4 to 7, accuracy 7, critical damage 3, and a Sagittarius helmet. 
So we can we can choose to be an archer, a Sagittarius, or we can be a Velus. The speed and unpredictability of light infantry allows them to cause great chaos among enemy ranks. Subclass, assassins have good mobility and high single target damage. Duelists are evasive fighters that dodge and weave between targets and brawlers are versatile fighters that excel at penetrating enemy lines. You can be an assassin. Apply Savage, 100% critical chance for next attack by this character, so it can be your freaking rogue. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back. So yeah, what I'm gonna be, I could be a rogue, right, right? Speed and, speed and unpredictability of light infantry. We get a Loretia Hamuta. Let's just not worry about the normal stuff. We get a Gladius, we get a Pugio, which is apparently better than the Gladius. And we get the Triacus Helmet, okay, whatever. We get the Assassin, which allows us to critical hit every time. Shiv makes a quick off-hand attack at half damage but does not cost an action point. Oh, I like that. And we have a tactical advantage. Applies tactical to self. The character will not incur attacks of opportunity because okay, so I can sneak. That is brawler. Or I could be a principalis with a big old helmet. So like the big shield, big spear, I see. Heavy armor and sturdy tower shields give Rome's frontline infantry unparalleled sur survivability. Hint, the Principalis is the most straightforward class to play. This is the easy mode. Subclass, defenders focus on survivability and protecting allies. So he has a defender, which is what he had, right? And then I get my shield back. Vanguards charge into the fray and excel at using their shield as a weapon. Minus 10 morale to all enemies within range. Okay, just scream. And veterans lock down enemies and resist enemy attempts to do the same to them. 2 to 5 bludgeoning damage applies knockdown to enemies. Unable to take any actions, cannot block, dodge, parry, or resist attacks. Standing up will cause character half their movement. And it uses everything. Or I could be a Triacus, a support man. The third line of a Roman legion can reduce the effectiveness of enemies and improve their performance, improve the performance of their allies. Best armor type is strong, heavy, medium, light, strong. Pike and staff, two-handed weapons that shred armor, range, can you will wield extra bar of hit points. And I can be a medic, heal their teammates and remove negative effects. Applies coordinated. Flag bearers control the battlefield by buffing allies and moving enemies. Applies rally to allies plus 20% damage. Destroyers deliver devastating attacks that damage enemy armor. 47 damage, one armor shift, 50% damage against a target who is stunned, knocked down. They are like the supports. I, I I like to be an archer, man. I don't know. Archer seems insane. Six to eleven. Six to eleven damage, though, bro. Six to eleven damage. Or I could get a quick shot, which also does eight damage. Eight to seven, fourteen damage. It, it could be better. Or I can reveal stuff. Honestly, just I love interrupt, man. Just to set me up on Overwatch. Do I wanna? You know what? Sure. Give me, give me Overwatch. Can I get them all? No. Okay. So, sure. Give me uh, the shoot, shoot first. Ask questions later. Trying to study for chance. I don't, I don't like chances to miss. If I'm gonna fire at someone, I want to die. I want them to die. I'm gonna be a damn archer. I'm gonna be a Sagittarius. Barbarian originally meant anyone who does not speak Greek. However, when Romans adopted the term, it could have been anyone who is in Roman or Greek. Okay. Act 1. Asia Minor. 1st century BC. So Christ is about to be born in a hundred years, apparently. On the island of Lebos, we got the Legion camp. The island of Lesbos. Gentlemen, welcome to Lesbos, the pearl of the Mediterranean. Eh, doesn't hmm. look very good. An ugly nest of pirates. Hmm. An impenetrable fortress of pirates, more like. With an infinite food supply thanks to the strength of their fleet. Hmm. We shall find a way to limit this infinite supply then. Yes. You think like an Imperator, Gaius. All right, people. This is Lucullus's war camp. The heart of our operations in this territory. You have been seaborne for a long time now. I suggest you walk it off. See the things you have to see and meet the people you have to meet. The console waits in the command tent. Oh, they It'll all be too late if you don't away. want to see him angry. Find and talk to Lucius and ready to proceed. Okay, okay. So we are at the camp. How do I turn the camera? I still haven't figured that out. 
So we have party management, character stats. The screen shows the values that affect each character's performance as well as their experience points and personality traits. Experience is gained from completing quest objectives or erecting milestones on the world map. Combat stats. These are the character's combat stats. The values shown here include all bonuses from the character's skills and items. Hover over each stat to get a description of what it does. Perks and personality. The character's personality traits determine which of your words or actions will cause the character to gain or lose approval for you. Perks give bonuses when assigned to certain tasks in the camp or when commanding regions in battle. So we got E. Fugus Coolio. He's, he's heroic, loyal, devoted, indifferent. He's, he's heroic. He's got no armor, he's got 12 health, 8 movement and some accuracy. And he is a Logos. Because he's like me. Oh, that this is me. <laughs> This is me, by the way. This is the guy who saved me. Yeah, he's got some armor. Damage of every incoming attack is reduced by the target's armor value before any health is lost. Armor does not apply to damage blocked by shield. Critical damage bypasses it as well. His personality is hedonistic. Likes partying, reveling, and having a good time. We typically disagree with stoic characters. He's skeptical. Likes it when you question or disregard the gods. We we'll typically disagree with superstitious characters. Honest. Values openness and truthfulness. We we'll typically disagree with cunning characters. He's got strong constitution, downgrades the deterioration or risk of any untreated injury by one severity level. Agreeable. Agreeable person reacts twice as strongly to all actions they approve of. We got Senatos. Who is conciliary. Likes actions that display open mindedness to other peoples or cultures. Will typically disagree with warmongering characters. Humble. Approves when you show awareness of your shortcomings. Will typically disagree with arrogant characters. And sexist. Dislikes when you treat the opposite gender as equals. Oh my. Okay. <laughs> Self-treatment. Healers with this perk can heal themselves without a penalty to treatment speed. Doctor. Doctor can treat laceration, puncture, trauma, or fractured spine. So he's, he's old. He's sexist. Okay. And then we have Bestia Tabat. Who's uh, straight up He's honest, values openness and truthfulness, okay. He's arrogant, likes it when you assert a superiority over others. We typically disagree with humble characters. And he's a warmonger. Values aggressive words and actions and prefers never to shy away from a fight. We'll typically disagree with conciliary characters. He's a recruiter. Talented recruiter will dramatically increase the chances of new recruits matching the level and of the skill of the legatus. And he's also got a strong constitution. Okay, and skill skin is where you purchase class skills and assign those skills to your hotbar. Here you can see how many unspent skill points you have. Passive skills have a round icon, active skills have a square icon, active skills must be assigned to the skill bar to be used during combat. So I have zero and skill skin, but I can get point blank. 100% critical chance for range attacks against adjacent characters. Rebuke, three pressuring damage. Push target one X away from you requires an empty X behind the targets usable on friendly characters. And we can double the damage it does. Angle of interrupt cone is increased, okay. 3 to 8 slashing damage. The hell? Not that much. Vigilant. Interrupting can now attack two targets. Oh my, that's great. Ranging shot. Hunter and sniper, two accuracy. Spotted ranging shot shoots two arrows. Big shot. So we have we don't have our other guy with us, which is good because I am the archer. So I guess we just lose whichever class we take, right? Okay, that's that's something. I probably should have taken then whatever this guy is. <laughs> because like now my party has this dude in it, which goes against these two guys. And there's just me who's an archer. Okay. We have our inventory. Uh, all unequipped items currently in your possession show up here. Use what is the filter items you want to see. And drag items to the slots to equip them. Specific items go to specific slots. You can also click an item to automatically equip it in the right slot. And I have no items for anyone. Everyone has just normal stuff. Triage. It's the triage menu where you can treat injured pit Praetorians to prevent their untimely demise. You do not have any injured Praetorians at the moment. Alright, that makes sense. Okay. You cannot leave right now. Yes. So they say. African catapults. Okay, this is a very big camp. We can start by going this way, I guess. I don't know if there's anything even over here. I can't. I can't talk to anyone. I guess they're also building like ballistas and stuff, which makes sense. It's Rome. That other legion. 
Bit wet behind the ears, aren't they? Everyone starts out that way. True enough. Soon they'll be veterans too. Or they'll be dead. <laughs> yeah, that's how wars work. You either become a veteran or you become a dead person. It's one of those two things usually. Can I leave here? Yeah, some nice tents though. Now that's just a full of house. You cannot leave. You cannot enter this tent. You cannot enter this tent. They're doing construction work here. Apparently I can get up here. All oh right, probably because there's a damn staircase here, but you can't you can't get up here. I mean, again, this is probably like extremely, you know, well thought out stuff that they got here. How do I turn the camera, dude? You shoot stones in this? That makes sense. I thought they shoot like boats. How do I turn the damn camera, bro? Scroll wheel zooms in and out. It's usually Q and E. Let's see. We can probably check. Uh, options. Mm, controls. Rotate camera is X and Z. Oh yeah, okay. There you go. That is not intuitive at all. This is where they, they want us to go. Yeah, I'm gonna keep pressing Q and E because I'm, I'm used to that. So here we got our two dudes chilling out. Domine. How are you doing? Carlos? I am hungry and my face is wind burned, but yeah. at least both of my feet are planted on solid ground now. I remember they sent me here, probably because the freaking council is here. To save your life, of course. She firmly believes the Witelli killed your father. Sending you here was the best course of action. I don't want to be a soldier, I just want to save my family. This is what it takes to bring the battalions, but this down, so be it. To tell you the truth, I'm glad to be here. This is a fine place to make a name for myself. Yeah, I'll take down the battalions, brothers. That is a practical outlook. But be careful that you don't focus so much on your ultimate goal that you miss important lessons or experiences along the way. Sure, but what do you know about the council? Dominus Lucius Licinius Luculus was a close friend of your father's and a supporter of your mother's efforts. Mm. He is now the closest thing you have to a father. You ought to keep this in mind. But not in front of everyone. Do you need anything? Besides a good wine, a warm bath, and a thorough massage, uh, not much. <laughs> Thank you. But you should think about yourself, Domine. What should I do? Sir? I would get used to my surroundings and visit the consul as soon as possible. We're here to accomplish something. Time to find out what it is. Maybe I get my own command, even though I know nothing. I'll talk to you later. All right. What about you, bestie at a Salve. Bart? You are bestie at a bird, right? I am Emulsifier Furious Scudi. I am called Bestia Tabat, indeed. You fight well. I noticed it. Yeah, I'm going to be an archer now. May I ask you a few questions? You may ask. And I may answer or not. Hmm. Your, your name is quite unusual. Is Bestia your family name? Your name is unusual. <laughs> Tabat is the name that was given to me by my father. Bestia is the name I took when I earned my freedom. Hmm. I chose it because I have fought and defeated many beasts. Probably because he's a gladiator. Where are you from? I was born in Mauritania, but I'm a Roman citizen. I Meaning one is freedom, yeah. Have you ever fought in a war before? Until I undertook this voyage, I fought every single day in the arena. But wars? This will be my first. You were a gladiator. You must know much of combat then. Any advice to give? I recommend you to not die. Hmm. Honor matters little. He who stands tall in the end will always be the winner. He who is dead will not be the winner. Get that. And what can you tell me about the commanders? They here? say Lucullus has the greatest military mind in Rome. I only know he is consul and imperator. But I don't understand what that means. How have you lived in Rome without knowing what these titles mean? This is my first time seeing a senator outside of the spectator stands. Council means he is one of the two men elected to rule of Rome this year. It is a yearly thing. He is imperator because he holds the authority to command the legions of Rome. So ah, council. like a king, but temporary. He is not like a king at all. He was chosen by people of Rome. We Romans don't like the word king. We have fought hard to build a republic for all Romans, free of the tyranny of kings. Well, let's not be judgmental. He's not at all like a king. He was chosen by the people of Rome. I do not remember choosing him. 
What you call a consul is no different from a king then, at least to me. I mean, if you're a citizen, won't you get to vote? Or are all, you know, only white males get to vote? Who knows? You did not like uh, Triacus, did you? He will fail again and cause the death of someone you care about. And that death will be your doing. Mark my words. I'll see you on the field of battle, bud. Dominate. Salve. Salve. See you on the field of battle, bud. What the heck? Loot, 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 loot. Come on, steal some shit. No one knows. <laughs> Who's gonna find out that I've been stealing stuff? The council? He doesn't know what's going on. Ah, look at this. You want a warm bath? Here you go. You can have a bath here. Mm, not yet, though, apparently. Shouldn't we be, like, cleaned up before you go meet the council? The Sturmer seem like he knows what he's doing to you. Him and his whole legion seem like they haven't the faintest clue. Okay, so we have some inexperienced legions. I mean, you know, that's... Everyone is inexperienced at some point, I guess. And like this said. They will either become veterans or they will die. Yeah, so again, a very, very organized structure. If you can see like the four walls, we've got ballistas on all four walls. They got like ladders leading up. I preferred them to be stairs, but whatever. The yeah, Romans were known to be very organized, right, with their military stuff. Unlike the Greeks who were kind of haphazard. At least again. I don't add, again, I'm not a historian. I don't know what I'm talking about. Just whatever little knowledge I have. But you know what? Maybe I'll learn more here. What the heck, bro? I guess they, the hospital. They keep their wine here also. I guess because alcohol can be used as a med medicinal stuff. Pain relieving and all the that. The pirates are getting bolder. They yeah. attacked another one of our galleys this morning. They attacked Jimmy us too. tell you too. That's right. This is the second time his galley's been attacked, and yet, he still lives. Hmm. Second time, huh? Interesting. Oh, well, I see there's a nice little training ground you got here. A little, little battle... Mock battles you got going on here. Very cool. Very, very good. Saw a gripper harassing that old Sirwis with the limp again. That small dipped bully. Did you tell the Prefectus? He won't do anything about it. A gripper is connected back home. One day that man is going to fall out of a watchtower to his death. It'll be tragic. Don't <laughs> joke about that kind of thing. Yeah, don't joke about freaking murder. How long I... are they going to keep us here? It's driving me crazy too. I came here to kick my three to Tizzy's ass. Not to sit on the beach day in and day out waiting for something to happen. Yeah, but you gotta strike when the, the time is right. You know? You, you wait. You'll have your chance. And you got a cool ass prison right here. Oh, it's not a prison. There's just some wagons in there. No people. The heck, bro? Why are you so red? I opened it. <laughs> no real reason to open it, but I did it. Cannot leave. It's just blood. Hmm. I don't like the kind of training they're doing, I think. Okay, so I'll enter the tent next episode. How about that? So this is obviously a sign of Zeus. You got the eagle holding the, the thunderbolts or... For these guys, it's it's Jupiter, which makes sense. It's a symbol of command and all that. So my my cool archer friend is just gone now, huh? Yeah, I don't. That was not a good idea. You have arrived on the shores of Lesbos to meet with Council LLL, who is a friend of your family. Find and talk to Lucius when you're ready to proceed. Well, I'm not ready. I want to save the game. Create new save file. Uh, yes, confirm. Uh, you, you okay? White on white, come on. YouTube one, confirm. And now I can load back to YouTube one. Yes, I can. Okay, I'll see you in the next one.